Did you know that Disney movies are filled with amazing secrets that most people have never noticed? For instance, one of Disney's goofiest and most clueless characters ever created, the perpetually clueless Hei Hei, had the honor of making an appearance in another Disney film. In Raya and the Last Dragon, as Raya walks through the Talonland Market, if you have eagle eyes, you will spot a rooster with a basket on its head. Now, tell me if that doesn't exactly resemble the scene with Hei Hei when Moana discovers him in her boat. I don't know about you, but whenever I see Hei Hei, I crave nuggets. That annoying rooster. <laughs> Stick around because today, we'll show you many more details and trivia you've never noticed in Disney movies that no one else knows. Zootopia 2 is on the way, and while we wait, let's remember a cool detail involving the movie. On Flash's desk, that government sloth, we see a mug asking, you want it when? We find the same mug in Ralph Breaks the Internet from 2018 in another office. Speaking of Ralph Breaks the Internet, a character with an avatar has a funny detail on her shirt. Take a look at the t-shirt of this blonde girl with a kind of lilac, or is it purple? I'm in doubt now. But look at what's printed on her shirt. It's the famous and glamorous Disney castle seen in the opening of hundreds of the company's films. In Tangled, Disney's 2010 film, when Rapunzel and Flynn are in a place full of books, one of them has the exact poster of the 1989 Little Mermaid movie on its cover. In Onward, Disney's 2020 film, we see that the tavern employees have a uniform similar to the ones used by wizards. And if you look closely, you'll notice that their wizard hat is just like the one worn by Mickey in the classic 1940 film Fantasia. Disney loves working on the smallest details of its films, as you already know. But tell me, did you notice that Dolores, from the Madrigal family in Encanto, has various sound wave patterns on her clothes? Remember her superpower is enhanced hearing, so she picks up the sound waves depicted on her clothes. I'll confess, I had never noticed, and I love Encanto. In Soul, released in 2020, we see that when Joe is walking through the streets of New York, he passes by a poster inviting people to visit Puerto Rosso. Now, you must be thinking, where have I heard that name before? That's exactly the name of the Italian village where Luca's story takes place. As you may know, in Ralph Breaks the Internet, we have one of the biggest floods of Disney Pixar movie references. But one of these references is hard to see and even harder to understand, especially if you're quite young. When Vanellope runs by, we see on the table one of the seven dwarves and Tinkerbell. But we also see a shadow right beside that startles Vanellope. That's simply the shadow of Peter Pan himself. And no, Peter Pan isn't there. That's because in the story of the boy who lives in Neverland, the shadow has a life of its own. So it really was just the shadow without Peter. Drop a comment below if you knew about this feature of Peter Pan's shadow. Big Hero 6 is a super cool movie that Disney released in 2014, and it's worth watching if you haven't seen it yet. The story takes place in San Francisco, which is, as you may have noticed, a mix of San Francisco and Tokyo. And on one of the buildings in the metropolis, we see the game from, guess what, Wreck-It Ralph. Very cool. Speaking of Tangled once again, did you know that one of the oldest Disney characters of all time appears in the film? When Rapunzel and Flynn are inside the Snuggly Duckling, that name is hilarious. We see none other than Pinocchio, the wooden boy, who had his first film released by Disney in 1940. If such a famous character appears in Rapunzel's film, it's normal for Rapunzel herself to appear in another princess's movie. I mean, not exactly her, but rather her fairy tale book that appears in the movie The Princess and the Frog from 2009. Speaking of Tiana, Disney's first black princess, do you know where she and Naveen, the prince turned frog and then turned prince again, make an appearance? This one I doubt you'll guess. They appear in the kingdom of Arendelle, at the coronation of then Princess Elsa, now queen. And not only them, Rapunzel, now with short hair and Flynn, now her fiancé, or perhaps husband, also attended the ceremony of Frozen's queen. Or should I say ex-queen, now that Anna is the queen, right? And if you love Disney and cartoons, in your place, I would subscribe to the channel right now so you won't miss our awesome videos. Since we're talking about characters from other movies, another famous guy also appears in Frozen, Mike Wazowski! Sullivan's best friend and work partner, one of the protagonists of Monsters, Inc. He's carved in wood in Oaken's shop. In Ralph Breaks the Internet, we find other references to characters from really cool movies. If you look closely, you'll see Maximus, that police horse from Tangled who does everything to catch Flynn the thief. But not only Maximus is there, Vladimir, one of the tough guys from the Snuggly Duckling, also from the same movie, appears going in the opposite direction. Those horns on his helmet are impossible not to recognize, don't you think? 
In Zootopia, we see an amazing reference to the highest grossing animated film in history. One of the districts in the Animal City is Tundraland, that part for animals who enjoy a bit more cold. And if you look closely, you'll notice a mama elephant strolling with her two little daughters. And the coolest part is that one of them is dressed as Elsa and the other is Anna, the two sovereigns of the Kingdom of Arendelle. Man, that's so cool! But it's not just other characters that appear in cartoons, humans also make appearances that you can't even imagine. For example, in the epic film Aladdin, right at the beginning, when the pompous prince arrives in the city of Agrabah, we see Aladdin standing between two men. These two characters are cartoon representations of the film's directors, Ron Clements and John Musker. Now tell me, do you prefer seeing cartoons that turn into humans or humans that turn into cartoons? Drop a comment below for us to know! We know that Mickey appears in some way in all Disney movies, but he's not the only one making special appearances. In Luca, at Julia's bedside, we see one of the other three most popular Disney characters making a cameo. We have a plush of none other than Donald Duck there, leaning, enjoying life in an Italian house. That sailor hat and that blue outfit are unmistakable. If you're into Marvel heroes, you'll like this. In Finding Dory in 2016, when Hank, Dory's octopus friend, is inside a truck, he honks the horn with one of his tentacles. Now tell me, what does this horn remind you of? If you said Captain America's shield, you got it! It's identical to the symbol of the first Avenger. Including if you look at the truck's license plate, you'll see once again the famous Pixar code present in all its films, A113, which also appears on the train ticket that Luca receives from Alberto. If you made it this far, comment hashtag A113 down below to leave everyone who arrives at the video without understanding anything. Returning to talk about Aladdin, Disney pulled off one of the biggest Easter eggs in its 1992 film, and almost no one noticed even after 30 years since the movie's release. At the end of the film, when Jafar is defeated, we see that Princess Jasmine's tiger, Raja, who had turned into a cub, returns to its normal size. If you slow it down, you'll notice that in the middle of the transformation, Raja's face becomes exactly like Mickey Mouse's. This was very, very hard to notice. Disney deserves a round of applause for this. <laughs> now, let us share something surprising that we discovered in the movie Luca. You know the diving suit worn by divers that appears in the film a few times? The helmet of that suit is the same one Nemo used to hide when he was in the dentist's office aquarium with various animals. Awesome! Now I challenge you to say diving suit three times fast. <laughs> in Toy Story, when we see a shelf behind Woody, one of the books there is Grimm's Fairy Tales. It's a compilation containing the most famous fairy tales that inspired the majority of Disney princess movies. In addition, there's a book called Tin Toy, a reference to one of Pixar's early shorts. In Cars 3, we see that Gabriel, one of the racing interns, gets excited when he sees his hometown, Santa Cecilia. Santa Cecilia is exactly the city where the movie Coco takes place. Some films give us references to things that happen within the movie itself. For example, in Tangled, at the beginning of the film when Rapunzel is in her crib, have you ever noticed that one of her hanging toys is a chameleon? Which is exactly the species of Rapunzel's pet and best friend, Pascal. Admit it, you never noticed that, did you? Did you know you can determine the age of Mother Gothel, the villain in Tangled? It's easy, if you're good at history, of course. Her dress is from the Renaissance era, which occurred in 1300. As the movie story takes place in 1700, we can deduce that she is 400 years old. Wow! Maybe that's why Rapunzel has a geology book in her tower, which you surely never noticed. And how did you get here? We've got not just one, but actually two bonuses for you! Do you remember Camillo, one of the characters from Encanto? Although he might not be very memorable for us, he's still remembered by the higher-ups. Disney gave him a special appearance in red, as part of a group of visitors at the temple that Miley's family is responsible for. The second bonus tugs at the heartstrings a bit more. Remember little Boo from Monsters, Inc.? Well, had you noticed that she appears in the same classroom as Bonnie in Toy Story 4? Look at her back there! Disney always keeps us wondering if the Pixar theory is true. <laughs> Those were the 30 references in Disney movies that you didn't know. Now you have two video options in front of you that we've selected for you. Just choose and keep having fun.